Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for the Meta Customization System and in this video I will be going through the recent update and uh, showing you how you can use it especially for new customers. Um, so the Meta Customization System is a uh, pad that allows you to customize your Meta humans. Uh, you can see I can go through my different faces there and uh, I could change the shapes of uh, maybe the nose and the intensity of that change, uh, lips, eyes, and uh, everything else. And all of this happens in uh, real time in the editor. No need for any plugins or anything like that. So yeah, the recent update mainly has added preloaded metahumans to the pack and you no longer have to go through the difficult process of uh, linking your meta humans uh, to the to the blueprints that come with this pack that allow for customization and the body and the face uh, which works along with the clothing as well as you can see when I change the shape of the body uh, the shoes change along with that um, and I change the shape of the ch chest, the clothes change together with everything that I am uh, actually doing here. So yeah, as I said, the main up the main update is that meta humans are included. So uh, the main change that you will see here is uh, if you come to the meta customization systems folder, there is now a met meta human reference folder which contains all the meta human information that we need for uh, this system to actually work and uh, so I'll get started on how you can now use this so I'm on the demo map here the demo map is located in the meta customization system folder um, maps folder and demo map okay so uh, this is our demo map now and uh, if you click play um, no setting up required you will be thrown straight into our customization screen where you can decide whether you want to play as a third person character or play in an RPG game or you can just simply customize your meta human from here and add what you want I will be going over how you can add different outfits in this video as well so um, one thing that you should note though is that you need to activate uh, a few plugins uh, before you add this to your project so um, as it is written here, uh, make sure to activate the plugins listed at the bottom of this page before adding them to the meta customization system. And uh, actually, the meta customization system is on sale now uh, for a 40% discount. So, this is a great opportunity for you to get it at a lower price. Um, now, back to the subject. Uh, these are the plugins required. You should activate the following plugins the animation, that is, the animation warping, post search animation locomotion and everything else listed here including uh, meta human plugins which you will be asked to activate you'll be prompted to activate these plugins when you open up a meta human or maybe just try to click play but i do advise that you activate the plugins before you do anything with this project because you will get some errors which uh, uh, might even crash your editor if you do not activate the plugins so the way you do that is by going to edit and uh, clicking on the plugin button and you can search by name uh, for these plugins here uh, so for example uh, animation warping if you want to activate animation warping um, all you have to do is open up the plugins like I just showed you edit plugins and uh, type animation warping there and you will see the animation warping uh, plugin so do the same with everything else listed on that list for the plugins okay make sure that all of them are active okay and then you can run the meta customization system in your project without any errors okay so anyway once you've opened up the map um this is what you get uh, there will be a meta styler uh, blueprint here and the meta face blueprint and meta body blueprint these are what are responsible for the customization system and uh, whenever you are using this system, we have to make sure that these three are in your level. Um, they are all found in their own uh, respective folders, Meta Body 2, Meta Face 2, and Meta Styler. Okay, so you have to make sure you add those blueprints there. Um, 
they must be in the level. Okay, so they're all found in the blueprints folder. As you can see, we've got the meta body tool there, we've got the meta face tool there, and we've got the meta styler uh, there. Okay, and uh, so if I click on play, um, I will get by default a female meta human there. She, you, uh, I will, I've, I've used this before, so she uh, comes with a bit of customization already done there. But what you will get is uh, a regular uh, meta human, the regular body with uh, none of the clothing which I've added there. So basically, it will look a little bit like uh, a little bit like this. Okay, yeah, and uh, you might have a weird face the first time you run this. So if you do get a weird face, um, just click on uh, one of the other slots so that the system can create a saved data. That's the reason why the face will be weird because there's no saved data. It doesn't know uh, what customization to put there, which confuses the system. But if you click on slot two, a save file will be created. You can click on slot two or any other slot and uh, the face will not be weird anymore. And if you go back to slot one from there, uh, everything will be okay. But you can work on whichever slot that you want to work. Okay. And you can begin your customization from there. Um, we've got uh, some clothing customization. I believe I've already showed you the face and uh, the, the face of the body. So yeah, you can click on costumes, for example, and uh, go through a few different costumes there. Okay. And once you've chosen the costume that you want, um, you can do some other customization. For example, if you want to change the skin color, can literally add any color using the tint. Uh, this is what uh, controls the intensity of that tint. Um, can add some tattoo tattoos there using the tattoo and the tint. Um, you can also change the actual skin itself uh, to a different skin texture. Okay, and of course, hair can be uh, changed out as well. Can click on the hair button and choose different hairstyles. We can customize the color of the hair, uh, increase the intensity of the color from there, and choose the color from here. And yeah, uh, basically, once you're done customizing your metahuman, if you want to, uh, let's say, you want to play a third person game. There is a pre pre set up third person level here for you to use. Um, so if I if I've satisfied with my customization, I can just click on play third person game there. Um, or once it's compiled, as you can see, I'm loaded into a third person level and I can play it. Okay, and uh, if I want to play the pre pre made uh, fantasy game, I can click on play and I can. Click on play RPG thing, the fantasy RPG game. If I click on that button, this will be loaded. If you have no saved data, you can create a new game or you can continue. I will just use the new game button. Uh, the customization which I did before that will still be here. And uh, I think we see some uh, orc teeth there. This will have to be updated so that it does not uh, pop up here, but this is. Uh, can be gotten rid of by clicking on the props button. I will make sure to update that so that uh, that isn't there. Uh, but if you want to fix it on your own, I can show you how to do it right now, very, very quickly. Um, you can find we are, the, that is only happening on the playable character. Uh, it's not happening anywhere here. So what you can do is you can find the playable character blueprint that will be in uh, the meta. Uh, the meta customization system folder uh, under the blueprints, pre made blueprints. And, uh, if I open one of the playable characters, and I think it's only an issue with the female, uh, the male who you will not have those, uh, those teeth hanging around. So, what you can do is you can scroll, you can open the RPG MH female, okay, and you can scroll all the way down to orc teeth. Uh, 
write a prop mesh, okay? Prop mesh, not all teeth, and just clear this. And you should be uh, good to go. And if you click on play, the problem will be solved. Um, but I will update that in the next update. So, um, yeah, as you can see, the teeth are not there. And sometimes you have a sudden change in your customization. This has nothing to do with the product itself. It's an issue with Unreal Engine. Sometimes it saves, it saves in two different locations and reads from two different locations. So especially if your editor uh, closes unexpectedly or crashes, uh, it does switch where it finds your safe files. So uh, that's the reason why it looks like my character's customization has trimmed it a little bit there. This doesn't happen with cooked products, but uh, it does happen with a default editor uh, sometimes. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, the teeth are it's the teeth issue is no longer there. Um, now, if I click on finish, uh, I will be taken into my fantasy level. And I will be able to play as my custom character. So, um, the next thing I want to cover is uh, how you can uh, add some of your own assets to this, uh, to this pack. And uh, we can get started with that now. So, adding your own set assets is uh, very, very simple. Um, as I mentioned here, we have a blueprint uh, called a letter styler. And this is where everything is uh, actually stored, all your hair, your clothing, and everything else. So let's say I want to add a new uh, piece of clothing for my female or for my male character. Okay, since we've customized the female right now, um, let's add one for the female. So if you open up the Meta Styler, okay, um, you can either click Add it here to open it up, or if you want to find it in the Content Browser, you can. Uh, look for the Meta Styler folder under Meta Customization Assistant. Open that up and uh, open up BP Meta Styler. Okay. So this blueprint is a little bit large. Yeah, when you make changes and compile it, it might take a minute, well, not that long, but it it will take a little bit of time to compile, a couple of uh, seconds. Uh, um, so in order for you to change the clothing. Um, the functionality for the clothing is actually uh, over here. This is where clothing is changed, but you can simply change your clothing through this uh, to this area here in the variables. For example, if you want to add a new female, uh, maybe female bottoms, and uh, yeah, we we can do that from here. Okay, so if I open up the female bo bottoms uh, section here, and I click on one of them, um, you can see the first one is empty, okay, uh, because we use this first spot to actually remove the clothing, so that's why it's empty. The second slot has got a uh, skirt here, okay, SK work skirt. So if I find it in my content browser, this is the one right here. It's all right. So if I click on play and... Uh, Open up my clothing section there. Uh, I've got tops over here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just maximize it. I've got tops here and I've got uh, bot bottoms here. So uh, the first one is the second in the list in the meta style. Okay. 
and then this is for removing. Okay, that's the first one in the list. So don't get that confused. If you want to change number one, just add clothing to the second uh, uh, variable that you see in the meta styler. Okay, so this is for removing. That is this button, and this is actually slot one. Okay, that is the work skirt. Okay, if I choose it here, uh, she you have that work skirt on, and Everything else uh, is according to the order that you will see it. Okay, so let's pick an asset from the Meta Warbook. Okay, so uh, let's say I want to use this uh, dress here. Okay, I'll open the dress up so you can see it. Say I want to use this dress. All I have to do is. Uh, Go to my Meta Styler with my dress highlighted in the content browser, and I can find a slot where I can put that dress. Um, let's see what is on these slots. Uh, so I can put this dress on slot five, where my uh, my pants, my metal pants, which you were seeing there, these was here, are actually and. If I add that there, let's just wait for it to load. Yeah, if I add that there and I click on play, no. Okay, so let's find that green dress. Um, obviously not on the same slot. So let's go to the bottoms and yeah, it is on this slot. Okay, so if I click there, I am now uh, actually wearing this, uh, this green dress, which we, we just added here. Okay, so any mesh that you want to add to the system, just pick a slot and add that mesh to that slot and it will uh, actually use that mesh. Just make sure that it has a meta human skeleton and it is uh, compatible with the same body type that is loaded into the meta customization system. That is the tall, medium weight female and the tall, medium weight male. Okay. So yeah, um, we see some overlapping here. That's because she's actually wearing uh, another outfit here. So let's remove this and uh, go back to the dress that we added there. And yeah, we're fine. So this is more suitable to be added to the costumes, okay, because it's a full costume. So if you want to add it as a costume, um, well, our slots are full. So let's say we replace this one here, okay. So I'm going to uh, go back to my meta styler and this time I'm going to replace a costume instead of a dress, uh, rather a bottom. So there's female costumes here as well. And uh, please note that it's the same process for the males. So here I've got fantasy outfit here. Let me replace it with the green dress. And here we go. Do you have... Uh, we have the green dress as a costume now, okay, covering the entire body. And basically, that is how you can add your clothing to uh, to the system, okay. For now, that's it for our first video on this. In the next video, we will look at uh, adding different faces and uh, also created a new level with uh, the recent update. And um, that should be up within the next uh, two days. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.